if you look at from environment point, point of view a lot of what things that we do actually has hurt the environment so much so the very things that we kept doing you know in the name of development or in the name of our convenience today making the world a unsustainable place so i think that is why the world word sustainability has come in because our own sustainability today is under threat i think people's leasing as an organization has understood this concept you know and understood the need to relook at at what what we are doing they say esg is an is a new opportunity because esg forces you to relook at what you are doing if you seriously want to go down the esg path a huge mindset change is needed you know you have to realize the damage that this is doing and why we should change and you have to really be convinced yeah i think uh, sustainability and esg has today been we become like buzzwords esg if you take the three letters it stands for the environmental social and governance aspects of it so today actually the thinking is uh, because of our own activity like what the human beings have been doing i think people have come to realize that there is a lot of damage that we have done damage that we have done say to the environment so that's why the environmental part comes in even from a social aspect i think if you look at certain corporates corporate behavior there's a lot of finger pointing towards what they do saying from a social point what they're doing is wrong or maybe from governance aspects uh, because uh, at one time i think uh, it was profit maximization you uh, like to make money that is what they why they came forward today there's question being asked about your behavior on what you are doing to make money to make your uh, the profit maximization and i think today there is realization saying now we do a lot of things to makes the human beings comfortable like if you look at the new products which come in the so called industrial revolution which uh, which came in while it makes us you know Uh, very comfortable or we do a lot of things uh, say in the name of development it also i think is hurting the world at large it's, it's hurting the environment uh, so this this uh, this knowledge is what is pushing uh, this sustainability or esg so what what the the thinking is now if you look at from environment point of view a lot of what things that we do actually has hurt the environment so much now you hear about climate change right climate change how climate change is uh, causing devastation for people not only for people not only for humans but if you look at all beings so the very things that we kept doing you know in the name of development or in the name of our convenience today making the world a unsustainable place so i think that is why the world word sustainability has come in because our own sustainability today is under threat so today there is a lot of uh, thinking behind this or a lot of pressure groups behind this who are coming forward and saying that we must change a lot of things that we do what we are doing that if we don't we are actually making a making this world the unlivable place not only for humans but for everybody so this is i think what's behind this sustainable finance or esg the buzzword so for i think now if you are looking at this aspect you have to look it from that aspect you know without uh, you know looking it from the traditional point of view so that is the first thing i think which i want to say the understanding or with the mindset change that we have today and now if you if you look at uh, the world at large there are a lot of things which are changing a lot of standards are coming a lot of initiatives are coming so likewise sri lanka also has its own initiatives coming in now for instance the central bank central bank of sri lanka who is our regulator regulator of the uh, non bank financials as well as the entire finance industry they have come up with the roadmap which clearly now tells you 
that you have to relook at your business models and if you are doing any activity uh, which is hurting the environment or the social norms and the governance aspects they are saying it's time that to start changing so it's a road map is what they have given so there are timelines which are given for it and they are sort of now <coughs> encouraging you at some point maybe they will force you to relook at what you do relook at your strategy relook at your operations and start changing so if you look at people's leasing people's leasing also as part of uh, as one of the largest uh, non bank financial institutions in the country is will uh, have to fall in line but on top of that i think people's leasing as an organization has understood this concept you know and understood the need to relook at at what what we are doing now for instance if you look at the finance industry and especially the uh, i'm not talking about the banks because i come from the other side uh, we are look at finance companies or the non bank financial institutions we finance a lot of vehicles a lot of vehicles on the road has been financed so to give you a simple example so most of these vehicles are fossil fuel driven vehicles emitting black smoke or harmful gases which is causing a huge environmental issue so then now the question is whether we can go on like this you know whether we can go on financing vehicles like this we that we can keep on putting these vehicles on the road we are doing it of course in the name of development and convenience but the price that we are paying for it from the other side isn't it time to have a look at it and change it so from that point of view people's leasing today is also relooking at this you know the the our our strategies our operations our products mainly our products relooking at our products trying to see you know now the thing is whether your products are green or not so that is i'm talking only from a, a environment point of view so but since in the esg i think the environment part dominates you know because that is the biggest uh, biggest sort of uh, damage that you see so then if your products are uh, lighting you know uh, creating this damage to the world the idea is to now change it so it's easier said than done uh, so we are in the process of relooking at all our products uh identifying the gaps in our products or in our strategies to be compliant and to see where you know we can go uh, develop new products and be more greener so that is where we are right now if you if you look at the commercial sec- commercial vehicles in the country like which is used for say the buses lorries tipers which is used for commercial activity you will see most of them are still diesel driven and we are yet to see any alternatives coming in like okay, with with alternative fuel usage recently there is uh, thought towards uh, you know bringing up bringing uh, buses running on electricity electric buses there is a dialogue going on that so these are as i said this is these are what we are specifically now looking at because see uh, understanding that you have to change is one thing but the risk associated with it or the Uh, the 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 what the new products might bring in can be totally different so right now we are in the process of you know developing this trying to find alternatives and trying to see how how we can sort of uh, our business model can change to adapt these changes if you look at it they say esg is an is a new opportunity because esg forces you to relook at what you are doing right for instance the fossil fuel driven vehicles are bad obviously you are looking at an alternative alternative may be electric vehicles so that that will need a lot of innovation right because now the battery technology which has to come with it so we will have to come we will we'll, should have a lot of you know innovation behind it Uh, if it has to be viable because now the concepts can come battery technologies can come but when it comes to actual usage people will compare it with the fossil fuel the convenience of a fossil fuel driven vehicles against a electric vehicle now for instance say the charging time 
if you are if you are running a petrol or diesel vehicle it's a matter of going to a fuel station you know pumping fuel in the 2 to 3 minutes you can go back but uh, in electric vehicles whether whether that is available right now because normally you would say you know a vehicle has to be charged for 3 to 4 hours so then they wonder if you are going on a long journey what are the options right now if you are saying driving 3 4 kilometers away uh, will i have, will i have to you know refuel the my vehicle or can i recharge it if i have to recharge it how long can it take so all these things needs innovation which will give space for new products for new things to come in so from that point of view it actually pushes innovation because now if there is real understanding you know if you seriously think that the change has to happen because if you seriously understand that you can't go on like this then inevitably you are saying it has to be changed so change will always give you innovation you know alternatives so this actually gives a lot of advantage uh, like advantages for to innovate so actually see if you seriously uh, seriously want to go down the esg path a huge mindset change is needed you know you have to realize the damage that this is doing and why we should change and you have to really be convinced of it i don't think you know anyone can uh, force you to get convinced but of course if you don't do that something else will come and hit you at that point priorities will change so the request is don't wait till then. well i think the biggest thing that we can give back to the community is this esg the esg message because i told you esg uh, or being conscious about uh, now we take investment decisions every day investment decision now if you have to give a lease a loan facility whatever we are making an investment here actually what you are forced is to look at how that investment decision can impact the environment or the social values or the governance aspects so that is what uh, it forces you to do so that i said is a huge uh, mindset change because this mindset change actually if you look at it will make this world a better place than we are uh, living in but to achieve that there are certain changes and sacrifices that we have to do so one thing what we want to do from people's leasing point of view also when we when we saw this and when we really understood that you know this is the path that we have to embark on we realized that educating educating the not only the stakeholders the masses the community everybody is one of the key things if you are to achieve this because all of us have to understand this if you are to achieve this so i think one of the biggest things that we want to do is to start educating uh, while first we are educating ourselves of this this is a new field that we are getting into and the next thing what we want to do is we want to start educating our masses maybe if if we can't educate our you know the present generation at least start educating our children the next generation because changing them might be easy so that is one of the biggest things what at people's leasing what we want to do uh, and we will start on it you know while while after we do our capacity buildings of after we are also much more knowledgeable on this you will see us uh, doing that esg is something new so if there is if it is something new you obviously have to learn about it do your capacity building so you can do it in two ways either you can start learning it yourself or you can go to someone who already knows about it so we have chosen the second one without reinventing the wheel uh we have gone to an organization called the european organization for sustainable development who are headquartered out of uh, germany who actually certifies companies about their processes from a esg point of view so this is again a journey what they will do is they will look at all the process of our company the decision making everything and they will say to be more environment esg compatible or be more sustainable how we should change so we have embarked on that so that program has started so like that can take about one up to about 2 to 3 years 
so once you go on that journey we will be certified as a sustainable company see what we want to do is while internally doing it we also want to carry a message to the market saying we are a sustainable company so and without us saying it i think if a recognized organization certifies us that will be a better message another step that we have taken is catering to our high net worth individuals we have launched uh, classic by plc which caters to which actually it's a building which we want to uh, certify get it certified as a green building so they are also what we want to say is uh, show that you know people's leasing is uh, serious about their location making it green so this particular building has uh, solar rainwater harvesting and it will be certified by uh, an ifc driven uh, company uh, as a green building so that will also we believe will take a strong message to the market uh, that plc is a serious sustainability contender and uh, another thing is i was talking about the products most of the products that we have are since we are financing vehicles most of the products are fossil fuel driven vehicles so now there is an initiative to uh, launch electric vehicles because electric vehicles are uh, greener vehicles because at least in the environment uh, at least in the location it doesn't pollute the location to this effect we have uh, we have uh, partnered with the company who are uh, who are trying to convert petrol diesel driven uh, three wheelers in sri lanka to electric so people's leasing has partnered with this company so you will see right now we are at the very initial stages of uh, doing it uh, because uh, if you look at it there are about 1.2 million three wheelers in the country and that is a huge uh, huge number so if you ask, if this project is sus uh, su uh, successful uh, at least a majority of these three wheelers we will be able to convert into electric so electric has its own advantages one thing is the pollution one thing is the noise is a cleaner vehicle and uh, like especially in cities like colombo or the candy the cities which has a huge concentration if you can take these harmful emissions away it will do a lot of good to the environment so these are some of the initiatives that people's leasing have taken to take this message forward